Hey mamas, I think this is gonna be the last of the fitted diapers that we're gonna do for cloth diapering months. Um, I'm gonna move on to pull diapers and then fleece and other things after this. For this, this is just going to be a basic surged fitted diaper. I've already added some snaps to the front through only the top thin layer of jersey and then one layer of the thin bamboo fleece. And then I've got a layer of another layer of the thin bamboo fleece and a very thin soft inner layer. Um, you can do fitteds with just two heavier layers or four thin layers for the shell. You could also do something like a sewn in soaker in just the wet zone. I like that, that feel, they get that squishy feel, but they do take longer to dry. Um, so if you want easy wash, easy, easy dry, try to keep it to, you know, thinner in general for the shell. You can then do a petal soaker, or for this one, I've just done a thin soaker because it's only a newborn size diaper, so it doesn't need as much absorbency. And I've got a contour newborn size soaker template on my downloads, and I'll link that. So it's going to have, and I've put a snap just through the outer layers of that as well. So it's going to be a snap in, not a sew in, but you can do it either way. So that's gonna be everything that we need. And for the soaker, all we're gonna do is surge around the outside. You can do any quilting or anything you want, but that's all, it, all there is to it with the serger. For the fitted, there's a couple different ways you could do it. So some people have sewn in elastics in their, in their serged fitted diapers. And that makes it a little easier because you can just sew all the way around once. I don't like it. It doesn't make for as nice of a stretch on the legs. Um, it's also impossible really to replace the elastics. So while for a retail diaper or something where you want to be continually sewing them and selling them to somebody, it's a good fast option. And in that case, you would just tack down or pin your elastic to the length that you want and then just surge all the way around. But it already has to be stretched out. So you're going to stretch it while you surge. Um, the way that I do it is the same as my turned diapers. I surge most of it except for the turning hole. I feed my elastics with separate elastic casings and then I close off the front. So that's all we're going to do right now. And the benefit with that is that you can replace the elastics. You can change the tightness. I, I just like it better. It takes a little bit longer to, to sew and it takes both a sewing machine and a serger, but I really, really like the finished product better. I think it makes for a nicer finished product. The next thing we're gonna be doing is just adding our elastic casing channels, just like with our turned diapers. If we were adding the elastic first and then surging all the way around, like I described, then you could do something like sort of sew a generalized casing around the elastic, or you could just leave them with rolled edges. For fitted, it doesn't matter because there's nothing has to be waterproof. It's just for absorbency. But for cased elastic, we're gonna do it the way we always do it. If you're working with a really stretchy knit like this, go slow or use a walking foot. You might want to mark with washable pen where your elastic casings are supposed to go till. I'll link the template that I've used here, but you can do this with any, any diaper template, any fitted template.
Now we're going to be threading our elastics just like we do with all of our other basic diapers. And rather than it being a turning hole in the front, it's really just a threading elastic hole. And there's your nice squishy serge fitted with its elastics. And all we're gonna do now is serge up the front to close the hole. And then all you do is add, for this is the newborn one, so then all I do is add the umbilical stump snap here and the wing snaps here. For any other fitted, you just do whatever the other finishing touches are, usually just the wing snaps. For places like this where my, my fabric got kind of bunched because it was so thin, I just go with a little zigzag stitch and clean that up. And that's it. There's your surge fitted diaper. Happy sewing.